today I want to give a review of Half in Shadow, The Life and Legacy of Nellie Y. McKay. This is written by Shanna Green Benjamin. This is the source of her professoriate. And so this, I, I wanted to, to give a review of this because it is discounted on Amazon.com currently for like $3 and change. So figured it, it, it would be good to let you guys know what it's about in case you want to give it a read. So in this book, we learn about the life of Nellie McKay. Nellie McKay was a writer, editor, and professor. She passed away in 2006 to cancer. And we don't learn a lot about her personal life. She was a very private person. We do know that she had two kids, a daughter and son. She seems to have a fragile relationship with the son that seems to be tumultuous from, you know, the things that he has to say, at least. And the daughter, that seems to be a more healthy and positive relationship. The daughter also contributed to the writing of this book as well as one of McKay's longtime friends. And like, like I said, you, you don't learn much about her personal life. She kept that under wraps, but she was married at some point and then she divorced at some point. <laughs> and we're not too clear on the time frame of either one. So, but that's, that's her personal life. And then, like I said, with her daughter, she seemed to have a positive relationship. You learn that at one point they attended school together. They attended Harvard. And so Shanna Green Benjamin writes, as a graduate student at Harvard, McKay reinvented herself by presenting as a single woman, childless, and fully prepared to focus exclusively on her studies. So McKay at this point was already a mother when she enrolled in Harvard for her master's degree. And she did not disclose this information because she wanted to be an attractive candidate for a position as a professor and being that she is a woman and a black woman she had two hurdles to overcome in order to pursue her career ambitions so her daughter was also accepted into Harvard and she was studying undergrad studies and it looks like the people who attended at that time were given the impression that McKay's daughter was her sister. <laughs> and then they learned later the truth about that relationship. But during McKay's time at Harvard, she gave him this impression and made no corrections. And that's quite sad because it's such a monumental moment for two Black women to be accepted at Harvard in the same year, one for undergrad and one for graduate studies. So they couldn't even celebrate. And then the fact that there are two black women from the same family who were accepted into Harvard in the same year, that's such a monumental moment. And they couldn't celebrate it the way it deserved to be celebrated. But that also is a testament to the times that she, Nellie, was um, pursuing her professional career in. So women were still having to prove themselves in ways that were absent for men. <laughs> so her being a mother that was seen as a negative, if 
someone was considering her for a professor position. And then also her being married, that was seen as a negative if she wanted to pursue a career as a professor, which is why there are, it is such a male dominated field because they just see women as having so much of their dom- domestic duties taking up their time as well as their professional duties. And with a position as a professor, it is time consuming and demanding. So she chose to present herself as a single woman for those reasons, among others, I guess. But nonetheless, her daughter seems to not take issue with this. But when people in her people who consider themselves friends of hers when they did find out the truth about this. They they were not so happy. (laughs) All right. So you, you do learn about that. It, It talks about how she navigated American patriarchy as a black female professor. She spent most of her career at the university of Michigan Madison School of Business. And she was there until her passing in 2006. So Half in Shadow is relevant to current times because it tells the story of how a Black woman navigated American patriarchy, racism, sexism, in the academic setting. So I would strongly encourage anyone, you know, a a woman, white or black, who is considering pursuing a career in academics. I think this is an important read for you. And then just anyone in general, if you're curious about how a woman like Nellie McKay made it as far as she did and went on to have such a successful career in academics and in the literature world. Um, Shannon goes over Nellie's time at multiple. She worked at a number of other universities and colleges before landing at the University of Michigan. And she also contributed works like, let's see, Black, I'm sorry, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, Approaches to Teaching the Novels of Toni Morrison, who was also uh, an influence in her career. And she also was an editor for the Norton Anthology of African American Literature. Um, Those are just a few of the titles she contributed to. But overall, it's an interesting read. I really enjoyed it. And it's it's about 200 and so pages, but it's not, you know, it's not written for the mass audience. So it's not something... It's not a fast read. (laughs) Talk about own voices. Nellie McKay also was a contributor and important figure in making sure that African-American stories were being taught in colleges and universities. So again, she is a pivotal figure in feminine studies and African-American studies and just who she was as a professor, writer, and editor. So her story, I am glad Shanna Green Benjamin did tell it, although it's <laughs> it's limited in, in what is told and revealed in this book, but still it's it's a good book to read if you are interested in those things that I mentioned. And again, it is 
really cheap right now on Amazon. I don't know where else it is sold. I mean, I imagine where books are sold, but I don't know if it's discounted on the other sites. But hey, Half in Shadow, The Life and Legacy of Nellie McKay. Give it a read. I hope you will. And let me know what you think about it. All right. So I'm out. <laughs>